Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Today, Romani Jabadi, thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Belder Beauty Show. It's my honor, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. I want my audience to know that you are a Grammy and a four-time Emmy-winning composer, and you're going to take us on a musical journey that you've been in, in uh, uh, overseas, and now you're going to do it in North America. So I'm going to let you unveil what you're going to give us through the acclaimed Game of Thrones? Well, the idea behind this concert series was to, to, uh, to create a, a, a summary of the show for the fans and also for people that have actually never seen the show. So we, we, we really go back to season one and then now on the second North American tour we have added material from season seven. And uh, it really takes you through all your favorite moments from the show. And I always like to say for the the fans that have seen the show, it just they can sit back and you know see see all the the big highlights from the show. And for the people that actually have never seen Game of Thrones, it's the the perfect crash course um, with lots of spoilers in there, obviously to to do a you know a quick rundown of what the show is all about and, and get them excited and say you know now I actually got to go and start and catch up and watch the show. Well, I don't know if anyone who has not seen the show, I'm sure there may be one person on the planet. But everyone's talking about this. Um, they can't wait for new seasons to come out. So you are uh, uh, standing on top of history. You really are, because I think it's the most watched show on television, if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just unbelievable. I mean, I've, uh, when I started the show, I just fell in love with it immediately. Of course, I, I would have never thought of, of the success that the show had. I just... Uh, uh, I just really love the people that are involved in, in this show. Uh, the, the, the showrunners, David Benioff and Dan Weiss, they're fantastic people to work with. And um, there was just something special about this. And uh, it's, uh, it's really nice to see that, that this has uh, such a success around the world. Well, and also, too, you know, you're not just happenstance for the Game of Thrones. You come with a rich history. You know, um, uh, You've done other shows. You've done Westworld and Fast Forward and Prison Break. And one of my favorites recently, The Mountain Between Us. So I'm thinking you are the perfect uh, symphony to go along with what they're doing in Game of Thrones. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a very special show. The, the, uh, just the storytelling in it, it just and 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 the different locations, just the the, the fantasy world of it all. It just uh, I feel like it really allowed me to uh, be creative with the music and and create a, a, just a special sound for the show. And now to be able to um, perform this live and actually experience this with an audience in the room uh, is, is very special for me. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a little bit, make it a little bit uh, personal and relatable for my audience. I raised two violin players. My kids were violin prodigies. One went on to be a producer. Where does your rich music history come from? Where do you get this insight? Because those people, to me, are special. Um, well, I mean, I, I grew up just with lots of different musical backgrounds, classical, rock, pop, jazz, and... Um, that's uh, you know that's something I think being a film composer is, it's it, okay that's why I became a film composer it's just because it allows me to to draw from all these different styles and elements and um, explore different instruments I like to uh, uh, explore different instruments from all over the world ethnic instruments and uh, and yeah a show, a show like Game of Thrones really allows me to do that when you are standing on that stage when you're standing in front of thousands even probably uh, millions of people watching through uh, the, uh, the magic of television. What's going through you? What are you thinking? Um, 
I don't really think about how how many people are out there. I mean, it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's. I feel like I'm just in my element. It's you know, which is music and um, the the big thing really for me is is. Uh, and that's why I really enjoy these concert series because normally that's not something that I do. Actually, I'm 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 a studio composer. I you know I, I write music in in a room. And but the uh, the connection I have with the live audience while performing the music is is just very very special. I really get to that that immediate feedback from them and the reaction. Um, that's obviously normally something I don't get to experience when a, a show or a movie gets released that I've written the music for. So uh, that's why I'm so excited to be actually on stage myself and, and uh, conducting and also performing some pieces uh, right in front of a live audience. It's incredible. You're coming to North America and people are going to have a chance to see you. But before I get to that, I need to ask you, did you ever dream your life to be this way? Uh, I was hoping that this is where I would end up. I mean, this is something I uh, wanted to do since I was a teenager. I literally set out to to become a film composer just as a as a child when I um it was actually uh, Elmer Bernstein's Magnificent 7 when I saw that film uh that I just there was something in the music and when you you uh, you walk out of the theater and and those melodies are still in your head and and you you keep humming those melodies and it was just so powerful to me uh that I thought that's something I wanted to do when I grow up so now I feel uh, I'm I'm living my dream actually being a film composer that is such an uh, explanation of how to make your dreams manifest into what you desire. You're coming to North America. I'm going to come see you in Austin, Texas, but you've got a full concert date. Where can my audience find out where they can see you? Uh, it's on LiveNation.com. The tickets actually are on, uh, on sale right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's on that website, and you can see all the dates across North America. All right. I'm going to be in the audience with everybody else hollering, Ramadi, Ramadi, yay, thank you. I wish you the best of luck on this tour. This is epic. This is groundbreaking. This is even historical. So I wish you the best of luck. And Game of Thrones is probably going to shoot to stardom again. Thank you for being my guest, Ramadi, on the Belder Beatty Show. Thanks so much for having me.